Hey guys, I'm really excited here to show you this next item. It is the Parrot Fly Pad. And it gives you the ability to use a regular controller with physical joysticks to fly your mini drones. Like this Airborne Knight SWAT. And uh, I I'm just excited to try it out because I'm not a real fan of using your phones to control your drones. It just doesn't feel right. And uh, I've just been waiting for this. There it is, Parrot Fly Pad. <clears throat> you can use your phone with it also. Uh, you connect your phone to the controller. Uh, so you can get info from your flight, but not controlling the drone with your phone. You control it with the pad. Plus you get up to 200 extra feet of distance with this thing. So <clears throat> it's going to be pretty cool. So let's check it out. Nice. It's got some weight to it. Got some dust on it here. That's weird. Packing dust or something. Uh, comes with a built-in rechargeable battery. Um, it's supposed to take two hours to charge, but we'll see. Yeah, this is going to be cool. <clears throat> comes with... There's the phone clip. Clip your phone, attaches, clip your phone to it. Charging cable, USB cable. But it's a, very similar <clears throat> to the Sky Controller 2 for the Bebop, the design layout. Check it out. Yep. That's going to be cool. So we'll charge it up, we'll test it out, see what. See how the drone reacts, and uh, I'll let you know. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, we didn't charge this all the way, but we charged it enough to get a test going here. I'll turn this on. As you can see, the light's coming on. Mm. Those will come up and lights are green. Start the mini app. We'll then turn the controller on, and as you can see, this turns green here. And you can program the different buttons on here to do what you want it to do or what it can do and and that. So that's pretty cool. The only one that I actually programmed was light on and off for L1. That would be up here. So we'll take off and see if that even works. We'll go back here, we'll go to start. We've got those on. And so <clears throat> we're running off the controller, so you can see it shows 91% on uh, the battery for that. The controller's showing 100%, but I don't really think that that's true. So let's just see what we get. Let me slide it over away from there a little bit.
Low battery alert. Beep, beep, beep. But, well, there you go. Seems to be working pretty good. Right on. Okay, so, again, there you go. Uh, that seemed to work pretty good. Uh, however, I'm a little disappointed in that I found out that you, with the older mini drones, you know, the Airborne Knight and, you know, the first editions, uh, at least for now, you cannot connect the controller directly to the drone without the use of the smartphone. So that's a little disappointing. However, it still works and it seems to work pretty good. Um, however, uh, again, like I said, I'm just a little bit disappointed in that. Uh, although the new drones, the, uh, the Mambo, the drone that shoots the <clears throat> little cannon BBs and you know, has the grabber on it, which is pretty cool, and the price is coming down on that right now. Uh, uh, that one works that way without the smartphone. So, um, who knows, that might be another future drone. Who knows, but uh, again, uh, I'm looking forward to when Parrot releases an update that can uh, you know control the dr drone uh, directly from the controller without the use of the smartphone that would that would be great um, other than that it's cool I'm excited got joysticks so there you go it's my two cents until next time thanks for watching please subscribe and like thank you